Hello, welcome everyone. Okay, sorry for that, um, I guess, slight delay. Uh, I, went, I hit the like go live button and it's telling me I can't go live to check my internet connection. And I was like, what the heck? Cause you know, just a few minutes ago I posted we're going live and that was on my computer, but I don't like, I don't know. So anyway, hello, hello, welcome. Hi, Marianne, I'm glad you can join us. Yay, it's another, as usual, Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. I've got some good stuff to share with you guys. Hi, Sandra, good morning. I'm glad you can join us as well. It's early for you, right? Oh my gosh, it's already 11.30 here. I always say good morning, good morning, because that still feels like morning to me. I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too, yay. So let's see what's going on. So my head's always spinning, right? I have, um, I'm doing a craft fair tomorrow here locally in Alma. Um, and so I've been trying to get ready for that, of course, scrambling, you know, trying to put everything else in and then trying to make some cute stuff. I did just a little bit. Fortunately, I have some stuff stashed away from prior years. Um, so I just pull that back out, put fresh candy in it, and I'm good to go. So yes. Oh, Sandra, you've been awake since two. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. You're probably ready for a nap. Well, after Facebook Live, take a nap. That maybe that'll maybe that'll help. Oh my goodness! Oh, um, so yeah. Let's see. His place craft fair tomorrow. If you're local in the area in Michigan, come see me. Um, it's just down on Superior Street, right in the main street of downtown. Um, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'm going to be there. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh my gosh, Sandra. Um, and what else? So let's see. Have you guys been enjoying the product of the week this week? The Snowflake Showcase Suite. So we have that awesome, I think I have, yeah, the Snow is Glistening stamp set. What's the other one? The Happiness Surrounds stamp set. And then those awesome Snowfall Thinlets and the snowfall trinkets or snowflake trinkets whatever those are called and then that velvet paper so I did I was funny because I was kind of re-watching last week's Facebook live and I, w I remember like being stressed out showing you guys like all that new stuff I'm like when am I gonna have time to play with this stuff but I made time so yeah I've got some fun projects to show you guys um, later on today in uh, Facebook live so oh yes you've seen lots of beautiful creations yeah me too I was out kind of hunting because I got I got one um, <clears throat> figured out for Facebook Live and then of course late last night I was like oh I need another project or two I actually ended up with three projects so I'll share that with you guys there um, the artisan design team so this is basically like a super creative and crafty group of ladies they um, kind of submit their work to Stampin Up to be um, selected to be on the artisan design team so they're just I mean I am always in awe of like the amazing creations that these women make but they did a blog hop um, at the beginning of October they I think got all of that snowflake showcase product that's kind of the cool thing is Stampin Up every month sends them like a box of stuff and they play with it and then they um, post you know on their blogs and their website and on Pinterest and everywhere and it helps you know obviously create excitement for the new products but so I went through the blog hop to try to find some other fun ideas and I found a couple of really awesome ones so I'm excited to show you guys those um, we'll demonstrate those a little bit later so lots of good stuff and yes Wendy yes it's Friday <laughs> yeah, I think by, by Friday we all feel that way don't we that yay it's Friday right so um let's see oh you know what i want to show you guys actually this was one card so inspired by um you know on the product of the week all week long i've been posting pictures so those i grabbed every single one of for the most part of those pictures that i posted on our facebook group for the product of the week those were projects that stampin up um, concept artists designed with that product in mind so this is my take on one of those cards um, if you can see, I'll get it in the right light. It's probably a little bit of a glare, but I love, so I use the champagne mist shimmer paint like on the vellum. We just kind of, I put it all over the vellum and then check out all those, the swirly snowflake. And then, um, you know, cause this is kind of a whole piece, that blue one. And then those other awesome silver glimmer paper snowflakes. They are all just gorgeous. Um, so I did a Facebook or not a Facebook but a, um, a YouTube video on how to make this card so if you haven't seen that yet take a peek at that because I tell you on there step-by-step step how to do um, you know how to put this whole thing together 
And I have to tell you, it was funny because I haven't filmed one of, I've been, I don't know, sometimes just time gets away from you, right? But I hadn't filmed one of those videos in a while, like not a Facebook Live. And it was like kind of going back to the drawing board, like how do I do this again? And I, I think I ran out of adhesive and I thought I forgot something else, but I was like, I'm kind of running it more like a live where like, okay, whatever happens, happens. Cause you know, when you're doing it live, you just have to go with it. Where I'm sure later people, if you watch the video, you're like, why didn't she just retape it and start over? Cause I didn't have time to. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I got, I, I made the card, I showed you how to do it. It was not perfect. Um, but it works. So anyway, yeah, hopefully you, if you haven't seen that, check out. So um, always every week too, if you miss Facebook Live, you can obviously catch it on the Facebook group, but it's also on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel also. So you can always catch those there. And then the other videos that I do. Hi, Amy Jo, good morning. I'm glad you can join us. So yeah, this card, that's my latest creation that I uploaded. I always am like wiggling, but yeah, that one right there is the one that I put on um, YouTube. So check that out if you haven't seen that already. Um, <clears throat> oh, so guess what else is going on? Um, next week we have, um, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, we get to go to our on-stage live event and it's down in Orlando. And so me being here in like freezing cold Michigan, it's like 35, 38 degrees today, I think. Um, it's 80 degrees plus, more than, yeah, it's like at least 80 degrees in Orlando right now. So <laughs> I am so excited to get down there and um, enjoy some warm weather and warm up a little bit. Um, yeah, the only thing that I might miss is the leaves because right now it's kind of funny because it's already November, but the leaves haven't all fallen yet. And in some parts it is just gorgeous right now. All of those, it's funny because New England gets like all of the kind of glory for having the beautiful fall colors, but right here in Michigan, they're just as good. Um, like along the lakes and the rivers and the colors and oh, it's just, it's beautiful right now. So get out and enjoy it. I'm gonna do that before um, I head down to, well, hi Sandy, how are you? Oh my goodness, I'm just talking about um, going to on stage on Tuesday next week. I am so, I was saying how excited I am um, because the weather is gonna be awesome. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be gone though. So that was kind of why I'm mentioning this too, because um, I was trying to figure out if I could fit a Facebook Live in, but with trying to get everything done before I go, and I actually do have like another job, so I have to like go make sure I'm good to go, you know, be away from my job too. So I'm not gonna be able to do another a Facebook Live next week. We leave like Tuesday, I don't know, um, early enough. So no Facebook Live next Friday, and then we'll reconvene the following Friday. Friday. And I wish I had those dates in my head, but let's see if today is the second. Am I going to do this right? So no Facebook Live next Friday on the 9th. Um, oh, <laughs> hi, Sandy. I'm not sure what you're congratulating me for, but thank you. I appreciate it, whatever it is. Maybe going to on stage. Hopefully you're going to be there too. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so um, yeah, so the 9th, so the 16th, yeah. So that Friday, I am pretty sure because that's the weekend retreat that I need to go down to Lansing for, but I think I'm gonna try to fit, thank you, Wendy, the 16th. I think I'm gonna fit a Facebook Live in before I go on that Friday. If not, I will post and let you guys know because my other thought was maybe I'd do it on that Wednesday the 14th. So I'll let you know for sure. This month is kind of crazy with like kind of being here and gone and everywhere. So, um, but definitely no Facebook Live next Friday. And then um, I think the following Friday we'll do it. But I'll let you guys know. I'll post um, at the beginning of that week for sure when I'm gonna do it. When I, when I, <laughs> my brain can, you know, that's like weeks away. I don't, some people prepare like way in advance. I, <laughs> I'm like one day at a time is all I can handle these days. So, um, okay, let's see. What else do we have going on? Oh, so just a quick reminder. Oh, well, thank you, Sandy. You're very cute, my success. <laughs> I don't know, and oh, that's cute. That's very, very sweet. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, so let's see, we have the Simple Beautiful card class here locally in Alma is always the second Wednesday of the month. So coming up, that is gonna be on Wednesday, November 14th, anytime from five until 9 p.m. So if you're local, come out and make cards with us. Um, we make four cards 
for kind of all occasion cards. I will definitely have some holiday stuff in there too because it's hard not to play with holiday stuff right now, right? Um, you either pay a flat $15 fee or if you put an order in, your cards are free. Hi, Rosa. Good morning. I'm glad you can join us. Um, so anyway, but I just started a new kind of um, another like online option. So if you maybe, I don't know if you've seen that email yet or not, but I can post that, um, the, um, um, what am I trying to say? I'm missing um, loving November. Oh, Wendy's saying you only work 12 days the whole month. Very nice, that's awesome. That's very cool, Wendy, good for you. You're probably out hunting, I bet, huh? Um, so host code, that's what I'm trying to say. I have a new host code that I'm gonna be using exclusively for the Simple Beautiful card class. So I will post that in the comments here also. If you put an online order in of at least $35 and use the host code that is associated with the Simple Beautiful card class, I will make the four cards that we make at class locally. So anywhere, anywhere in the country, put an order in and I will send you those four cards for free as a thank you for putting that order in and using that host code. So that's something new that I'm just starting and I'll make sure to kind of um, mention that to you guys too. So that's separate from Facebook Live stuff. There's always the other drawings and giveaways that I do there. So you can kind of pick and choose. Do you want to get the four free cards from class or do you want to get your name entered into the drawing and get the projects from Facebook Live? You can do it either way depending on which host code you use. Okay. Um, oh, and then I know I showed you guys, but I just want to do a quick reminder about the next holiday stamp a stack class. So it features the peaceful Noel stamp set and that sprig punch. So real quick, I'm just going to show you because um, I wasn't sure if I was totally clear last week when I was talking about it. So this is a stamp a stack class that we're going to do locally here in Alma on November 29th. It's a Thursday from 6 until 6.30 until 9 p.m. is the live class. Or if you can't make it to class, you can get the to-go kit version. So it's the same cards whether you come to the live class or you do the to-go kit. I'll post those links as well. I'm not going to go through all the details again, but I just want to show you guys to remind you the cute, cute cards. So we're going to make, and we make three of each of these. So we're going to make three of this card. We're going to make three of that card. We are gonna make three of that card, and then the last one, three, uh, and I know those are backwards, but so you end up with 12 cards with that holiday stamp -a stack So RSVPs for the stamp -a stack live class or the to-go kit are due by um, Monday the 19th of November. So let me know um, if you have any questions on that, and I'd love to get you signed up for that class to-go kit. Um, okay, let's do our drawings. So you guys know I um, started something new last week that anytime you commented or shared any post on our Facebook group or the business page, so the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group or the business page, and I picked one, so I basically, you know how I have all these, I put my names on those little squares of paper, I basically also put the days of the week on, so Monday through Sunday, right? I put the names of the days of the week and then I just jumbled them all up and I drew, and so I did this last night basically because I had to get the names in there, but I drew the Friday. I don't know if you guys can see that uh, there a little bit. So anyway, basically anybody that commented or shared any of the posts on Friday on either our group or our business page got another three entries into the drawing. Oh yeah, what are we giving away? Let's talk about that. So we are going to give away, remember from last week, these are the Petal Pink Rhinestones. So lots of ways to get your name in here now for commenting and sharing on this Facebook Live video, for commenting and sharing on any post throughout the week, and I draw one day at random, three entries for that. And then if you have not already signed up for my email list, do that. You always get a free PDF tutorial the first time you sign up for my email list. And then you get three entries in this drawing as well. So anybody new, make sure you do that. And then that keeps you updated on everything that we have going on here. Okay, so shaking them all around. Got my cute little paper pumpkin trash bag here that I've never, ever put trash in. I only put these. <laughs> I only use it for this um, Facebook Live drawing. I have so many names in here. Okay, I've got to make sure I've just got one. Mary Ann, nice. Look at you. I think maybe... You, did you win last week too? It's funny how it seems to go in spurts like that, but congratulations, Miss Marianne. You are the winner of those petal pink rhinestones. So very awesome. 
I will get those sent out to you, Marianne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your comments and shares too. You do a lot to support me and I appreciate that very much. So thank you. So, okay. Um, you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week? Where are they? Oh, all right. Yay. This is awesome, right? So I showed you guys these last week. These are the snowflake. <laughs> you will love those. Good. Make something, Marianne. Make something with those because that's what else I said last week was I have not used them yet. So I want to see how somebody else uses them. I mean, they're not really difficult to use, so I don't know why it's a big deal. Thank you for your share too, Marianne. Um, but yeah, if you use them, post a picture of how you use them. Okay, so back to what we're gonna give away this week, right? So we have the snowflake trinkets. Oh my gosh, these are those new. Remember I showed you guys these last week? So I'm gonna to try to find two different ones. Yeah, so what I figured out is one is a little bit more kind of a matte look. Can you see it's still got a rhinestone? A little more simple. This is kind of more like the masculine snowflake is how I've started to look at them. And then this is the dainty, a little bit more frilly, a little bit more feminine. And it's a little bit shinier too. Like, can you see this one's a little bit more matte metal and then this one's a little bit shinier. So you will get a full pack of the snowflake trinkets. One entry for commenting on Facebook Live video, three entries if you share this Facebook Live video. Then if you comment or share, I will pick one random day next week, anytime, basically from Friday through next Thursday, right? And then you'll get three entries if you comment or share on that random day that I pick. Plus sign up for email and get three entries too. So we'll do that drawing next week, yay! Okay, so now we're gonna do the, well, it's not really a drawing because I, again, only had one online order. So you guys, your, your chances are so good of winning the, the freebie thing that I give away on Facebook Live. So last week, Miss Stacy Decker, who's actually one of my very best friends, she lives in Chicago. We were roommates um, when we went to University of Michigan. And we actually, we met, this is fun. This is, I don't know why I love this so much, but we worked at an ice cream store called Stucci's. So we scooped ice cream basically as our like part-time job and we got to take like um, a little thing of ice cream home after every single shift. <laughs> that, yeah, my freezer was packed full of ice cream back in college. So, you know, if I didn't want to cook, I had ice cream for dinner. <laughs> it was really bad, but we had so much fun at this ice cream shop. So anyway, that's my friend Stacy. She put in an online order because she's going to come hang out with me for the weekend retreat. So she won the um, rhinestones and those frosted and clear epoxy droplets for putting her online order in. Plus, she's, she'll get the projects that I demonstrated on last week's Facebook Live. Okay, so I'll be sure to let her know that, get that posted. And then, okay, so you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week. We have, this is that assorted, well, kind of an assorted pack. These are the Stampin' Blends markers. We have the light and dark real red, and then the light and dark shaded spruce. So an awesome pack, perfect for your holiday card making and coloring. These are amazing. I love these Stampin' Blends. So we have so much fun playing with these, um, and I think you will too. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, use the host code I'll give you in just a few minutes, your name will go in the drawing to win both the Shaded Spruce and the Real Red um, Stampin' Blends. Plus, you always get the projects that I demonstrate. And the sun is peeking out. Yay, that is awesome. I love, oh, sun is good this time of year. So, okay. If you can believe, I think, oh, you, Sandra, you're loving the Stampin' Blends, very cool. I'd love to see something that you've made with them. Maybe you'd post it on our Facebook group so we can see. But yeah, I know, those, they're just so nice to color with. I think I could get a coloring book out and color with those too and have just as much fun. So, okay, um, let me just, because I went through that pretty quickly. Let me make sure, but I think I did tell you guys about everything, right, as I'm kind of, I gotta scan through here. Okay, yep, I think we're good. Okay, so turn your heads away for a quick sec. Oh, 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 I see Sandra saying that her Christmas card has lots of blends on it. Oh, okay, well good, I'm gonna be very excited to see that. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. That's a lot of work. I wonder how many, you haven't made too many with the blends, have you, with lots of blends? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if you have the time and you love it, why not, right? So, oh, cool, I'm excited to see that. Okay, all right, turn your heads away for a quick sec. I am gonna flip the camera so we can do some stamping, ladies. 
Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm going to flip it down here so you don't see my head, right? And, okay, I think we look pretty good. Oh, you made 50 Christmas cards, Sandra. Oh, my goodness, with all the blends. Whoa, that is impressive. Wow, very good for you. Okay, now let me get the host code. We'll put that. So new host code this month, too. All right, I got to get a quick sip of water. It's that time of year where I need to get my candy canes out, my little mints, so that my, <laughs> my throat gets dry. <laughs> Lily was teasing me about that because <clears throat> we still have some left over from last year. She's like, oh, yeah, I remember when I would come home from school on Fridays and I'd find this little bowl with crushed up candy cane pieces. <laughs> that, was, that was from this because I would grab a little something <laughs> to soothe my throat. So, okay, new host code for this month. It is ETSM. G6K4. And if you forget that, you can always go to gatheringinspiration.com on that right hand side toolbar is that host code. You can always grab it from there and then just enter it in your online order. You always get the projects that I demonstrate with at least a $30 online order and your name goes in the drawing to win. I gotta have those candy, right? Those Stampin' Blends markers. Okay. So, all right. Um, oh, and if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. So tons and tons of free stuff with your online orders. Okay, you know what I have to show you guys? Um, I have one more class to go. So normally I don't have two class to goes, but with the um, holidays and those holiday stamp stack classes, I showed you guys those earlier, the Peaceful Noel stamp -a stack and class to go. Now this is my regular class to go that I do every single month. This month, oh my gosh, it's so, okay, I love, I'm totally loving the Takeout Treats stamp set. Have you guys seen this yet? So much fun, all the cute, there's this fun something sweet to eat, enjoy, less tricks, more treats, love you lots, some Christmas cheer for you. Thank you, yum, and this is for you. And then some other fun images, and of course the framelits cut, I don't know if they cut these little guys out, but you could stamp those on other things. But it definitely, the framelits cut the heart, the star, and that little label there too. So takeout treat stamp set, and then the takeout thinlets also. So yeah, here is that little label that cuts that label right there, and then you can see the star and the heart. Right here, star and heart. And then this is like a little, I'll show you in a sec. That's a little piece to decorate kind of the side of the box. A cute tag, another um, fun label guy right there. And then this is the piece that you cut two of these to make your takeout treat box. And then look at that. There is a little, oh, it's the holly. That's the that little piece right there. Ooh, cute. I haven't used that. Cuts that little teeny tiny holly berry piece right there. So, okay, those, that's the stamp set and framelits that are um, featured in this class to go. I'm gonna show you guys the project. So we're gonna make two of each of these, right? So of course I had to make a couple of treat boxes, right? So I decorated the top with the fun ribbon. There's that heart. I've got some of the, what is that? The silver, um, I'm gonna call it baker's twine, but that's not it. What is that mini sequin trim, right? It is a very cute set, isn't it, Marianne? And then the box is made with some of the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper. So you can see how cute and fun. And they're not that big. Can you kind of get the idea? I had kind of pictured them to be bigger. It's funny, you know, sizing is hard to know. Um, but basically, one half of a sheet of cardstock will make this box for you. You can cut both the kind of both parts of it. To put together if that gives you an idea so but that's kind of good because if you're a candyaholic like i am you can't put too much candy in these or eat too much candy then right okay so you're going to make two of that box and then here's another fun one with that awesome sparkly um shimmery what is it this is the black glittered organdy ribbon with a cute little mrs claus and that's that little piece that i was talking about you can die cut to kind of add to that. So you're gonna make two of that cute little treat box. And then we did a couple of cards also. There's this awesome one that says, love you lots. One thing I did think too, is if you if you didn't need that sentiment, you could do the thank you would fit perfectly 
in there as well, okay? So you're gonna make two of that card with the ribbon and the hearts, and then you're gonna make two of this Some Christmas Cheer For You card, and I will do all your die cutting. I just can't do your stamping. So you'll need your stamps and your own ink, and then I'll give you all the parts and pieces to put all these projects together, okay? I gotta grab my notes here so I can tell you options. And I did make a um, video on YouTube also. So if you forget any of these details, if you go to the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel, you can watch it again. And all the links are right there too to um, order right online through PayPal. So, okay, option number one includes the, the takeout treat stamp set and the thinlets, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects, right? So it's four projects, eight would be total. Plus, you also get a package, and I don't have a full one because I've been using mine, but these are the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. And then I'm throwing in a full bolt of the silver sparkly mini sequin trim just in time for your holiday treat making, right? Okay, so option number one is $77, okay? Option number two is if you don't need the takeout thinlets, so it's just the stamp set, all of the projects, all four of them, two of each of them, oh, plus the PDF tutorial, you always get that, and then the Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes, that option number two is $45. Then option number three is if you don't need the takeout treats stamp set or the takeout thinlets, you already have those. You need to make sure you have the takeout treats stamp set so you can do your own stamping. It includes the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes, the all the parts and pieces to make all eight of your projects, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number three is $26. Okay, so all three of those, option number one, two, and three, I guess, <laughs> I almost put my fourth finger up there, um, those I'll ship priority mail for seven dollars um, and if you're local just pick the studio pickup option and then you can get the shipping fee waived okay option number four is just the PDF tutorial it tells you step by step how to put everything together measurements colors all of that good stuff that PDF tutorial is always fifteen dollars it's always available even after the RSVP deadline has gone and if you're a part of the Inkspired Stampers my downline you get that PDF tutorial for free whenever you want and then in addition, option number five is also for anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group in my downline. You can get the make and take materials for all four of those projects, two of each of them, so eight total. For cost, it's just $12 for all the parts and pieces. You buy your own stamp set and ink through your own demo idea to get your discount, okay? The inks that we are using, I forgot to mention that, we have Poppy Parade, Coastal Cabana, um, garden green and then lemon lime twist okay and what else do you need to know oh RSVP deadline is Friday November 23 and then the kits will ship out no later than December 7 I'm really hoping to have them sooner than that but with Thanksgiving in there I needed to add a little bit more time just to make sure um, with shipping to get everything to me. So, but hopefully sooner than December 7 even. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get you one of these cute to-go kits. These, oh my gosh, I just, these little treat boxes I think are just the cutest darn things ever. So uh, it's all just so fun. I loved the colors, um, the whole, I just loved everything about that. <laughs> so hopefully you guys do too. Okay, let me check my notes, but I think you guys ready to do some stamping? I think I am. Okay, so let me grab, I'm gonna grab my grid paper. Let's put that guy right there. Okay, I gotta get this situated. So funny, if you could see how like off center this is from where my camera is. I don't know how I put my camera up every time in a weird different spot, but that's how it happens. Okay, so, well, hi, Darlene, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. <laughs> We're gonna do some stamping now. It's what I think everybody lives for this part, right? Okay, so let me grab what we need here. This card features the, I showed you guys this last week, right? The new product, the snow is glistening. So has anybody ordered? I have to, um, oh, you're ready for the really fun stuff. I agree, Marianne, this is like the best part the stamping, oh my gosh. So has anybody ordered, has anybody ordered yet this the Snow is Glistening stamp set or the Snowfall Thinlets? 
If you haven't, I think you're going to fall in love after you see some of these projects. I know there are tons of great ideas out there. Like I said, that artisan um, design team, the blog hop, basically you just have to find one. And I'm going to give you names because actually a couple of these cards came from that blog hop. Um, I'll give you those names and their websites. Once you go to one, then you can click through, you know, you start at one and then you basically hop and it gives you the link. So you can go all the way around to all the different um, projects that everyone has designed with this um, suite. So snow is glistening. That's the stamps that we're going to use. Um, let's see. Let me get everything else out and then I'll show you what we are doing here. So this card I actually cased from Mary Fish. Um, she, I, I have always loved pretty much everything that she's done. So this you guys have to check out. Oh my gosh. So Stampin' Pretty is the name of her blog. If I'm sure most everybody has seen Mary's work because she does such, this is very like clean and simple is kind of how she describes her stamping and I have to agree with that. But I loved kind of the neutral tones on here. We've got the stamping um, and then we've got that fun snowflake trinket and then we actually use some other fun um, things. I'll tell you guys about those as we put them together, okay? So let me give you measurements first of all. Okay, so we have our crumb cake cardstock, a piece of cardstock, our eight and a half by 11 cardstock, right? So this time we made the tall card, right? So we cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, whoops, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our fold in our card, right? Okay, then I'm gonna scoot that guy right up there so I know what I'm doing. We have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Oh, thank you, Darlene. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Well, now you can make this card too um, once you kind of see how we do it. It's a, it's a simple one. Okay, so this, this white piece measures three and a half by five inches, okay? And then actually we've got this other little white strip that we are gonna stamp uh, our sentiment on. So this one measures three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches, okay? And then I do have another, this is just kind of a, um, a scrap piece of soft suede cardstock that we're gonna do our stamping on here as well. So, okay, I've got my soft suede ink and we are gonna grab, this is that beautiful, I think I figured out, I, th I mentioned last week there was a stamp a while ago I think it's called Snow Swirled. Probably, I don't even know how many years ago, probably six or seven years ago, maybe more, that I made all my Christmas cards with. Okay, so on our Whisper White piece, but it really reminded me. Oops, I wanna ink that and then a little, little bit more. There we go. It really reminded me of this set. Okay, so we are gonna put that, here I'm trying to eyeball, maybe right, as long as it's straight, that's the main thing. <laughs> so we'll see, hopefully I got it straight. Oh, I was wondering if that was going to happen. I did bring my stamp and pierce mat. So, ladies, this is when I should be using my stamp a jig, right? Because then I could just ink this right up again. Okay. Well, we're going to press a little bit harder here. Let's try. I think I got it inked up well. I think it was that I just didn't press hard enough. I'm trying to not. Normally, I probably use a little more umfa, but on on the Facebook Live. I don't know why I don't want to. Oh, hi, Peggy. How are you? I'm glad you can join us. Hopefully you're having a good Friday. Okay, we're trying to make sure we got all the ink. There we go. See? Okay, so photopolymer stamps sometimes because they don't have kind of that um, whatever, the foam behind the stamp. It's kind of nice to... It's almost like having the foam right here, right, with your stamp and pierce mat. Okay, so that is beautiful. Love that. Okay, now... We just need to make sure that happens again. And this one we are going to cut. I know, I think Kim, it was last week, asked if there was a framelit to cut this tree out, and there isn't, but you're going to see how quick and simple and easy this is. I'm glad you're doing well, Peggy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just do that. So I have, I think, the bigger pair of scissors. These are some um, ribbon scissors that we used to sell. Unfortunately, we don't sell them any longer. I absolutely love them. They're technically not meant for, um, you know, you should only use them on your ribbon. Um, my mom always had this pair of scissors. She was left-handed too, so that was the other thing. 
but that was the only, there wasn't much that she was particular about, but please do not touch her um, craft or her sewing scissors, I guess they were. She did a lot of quilting. <laughs> so these scissors always remind me of her because they, they're they very special, but and then I go and break the rules here and cut my paper with them. Not very often though, but when I need a big something, it's it's handier to use those scissors. So, okay. Now let's grab, we're gonna grab our um, banner punch. So you just have to be a little bit careful because there are some little notches in here that are gonna kind of help us line things up. You basically just wanna make sure that there's enough kind of punch showing on either side there and then hope that you get it lined up well. And that looks good to me. Okay, now our sentiment. Where is that? You know, I had to pull it off to film the video for the other, for this card, and now I'm thinking I didn't put it back in here for me. Okay, so I need to go run and grab a clear block so we can stamp. Yeah, because I used it on this card after I did this one. Okay, one sec. Just, okay, we're going to hit the pause button, ladies. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, like the beauty of Facebook Live, right? And you just have to kind of roll with it. But yeah, right? That's my sentiment right there. Okay, here we go. We are all set. Okay, so with our soft suede ink, nice easy tap, tap, tap. And then we're going to pop this guy right on there. Okay. Share or sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. I love that. Such a nice sentiment, right? Okay, let's see. I think we have all of our stamping. Now, I feel like I've got everything all over the place. Now I'm trying to, no, we don't quite have it done yet, actually. Okay, we are going to kind of layer that maybe right about there, right? Okay. Again, our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are gonna make the bottom of our tree. Here, we're gonna hope that that goes on pretty straight. There we go. Okay, now I think we are done with our stamping, right? Okay, okay, okay. I think we can put things together. So let's add some adhesive on the back of this guy. Let me find that, right? Oh, the sun is shining. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to put this piece right on here. And then we're going to use some dimensionals to put on the back of our tree here. Put a couple of those guys on there. Okay, and then we're going to add lots of fun to this card. Okay, peeling those dimensionals off, we're going to put that maybe right about there looks good okay and then we just need a little strip of this is the burlap ribbon we're just going to put a little bit oh isn't it yeah it's a beautiful tree isn't it marianne i love this okay and let's see we are gonna use i'm gonna just run some adhesive kind of right across my tree and I'm just gonna kind of lay this down on here. Okay, and then I'm also gonna grab a dimensional and put that maybe right about there to kind of help keep that ribbon. It's wanting to curl. It's been pretty curled on the bolt there. Okay, next we need another, I put another dimensional on the back of that guy right there. And we're gonna add him right about there right now the fun begins with all the all of the accessories here so i'm going to grab one of my snowflake trinkets and my glue dots and i'm going to use this is the kind of more um can you see that if i get right up in there this is the little bit more matte looking one i'd say rather than not quite as sparkly as the other this is the masculine remember i said that earlier this is the masculine snowflake, although it does have a, um, <laughs> a rhinestone there. And that does not want to come off. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put him maybe right about there. Okay. Move our glue dots out of the way. And our snowflake trinkets. Okay, now we've got some more fun that we're going to add. So these are the True Gentleman 
buttons. And I thought this was so cool how Mary put these on her card. She used a couple of these little buttons. I haven't used these in a while. See, this is what happens when the holiday catalog comes out that I tend to forget about all the cute things we have in the annual catalog. Okay, so again, put our glue dot. We're gonna put him maybe right about there. So this is a completely not mailable, well, at least not for regular postage. You could mail it. Hi, Roseanne, how are you? I'm glad you can be here with us. We're gonna put one more right there, okay? And then we used some of, these are the basic adhesive back sequins. And I liked actually kind of this pinky color almost. Oh, it's probably the petal. I think that's what I used. Yep. Um, kind of a petal pink color, I think they are. So we're going to put one right there. And we're going to put one maybe right there. And then one more. And I don't think that I got that glue dot, did I? Let's see. Oh, it kind of was sticky, but I still see it on here. Okay, we're going to try that again. There we go. And that is it. Let's get these out of the way so I don't lose them. Okay, so there is your first card, ladies, featuring that Snow is Glistening stamp set. And then the Snowflake, I think they are, Snow, oh, that's not the right one. The Snowflake Trinkets, yep. And then there's more of that stamp set too. So isn't that awesome? Ooh, look at that. My sun is shining. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so there's one card. We're actually going to do three today, okay? So hold on. I've got a couple more great ones to share with you guys. Let me, I gotta move a couple of things. Oh, you know what else I have to show you too? Because this is the envelope that I stamped. I don't always show you guys that, but I always, always, always have to, you know, when I'm gonna send a card like this, I have to have a little preview of what's inside on the envelope that then goes with this card. Wow. Sun, okay, peek behind the cloud a little bit. It's a little bit too bright now. <laughs> um, but let me show you, because I don't think, uh, thank you. I'm, well, Marianne, I'm glad you love this card, and we'll we'll have to make sure that Mary Fish knows that. Of course, everybody loves everything she does, too, so she probably already knows that everybody loves this card also. But um, Okay, so these snowflakes, I think I was saying, I they are beautiful, but I think they're even prettier when they're stamped. So I don't know if you guys can understand or see that, too, but don't you think, I think with the color, maybe having them stamped, even though it's only in the soft suede, I really, I just love how those... Um, look, right? Very, very pretty, huh? Okay, let's see. What else are we going to do next? Move that guy over here, maybe. Okay, get all of this stuff out of the way. I get confused otherwise. If there's too much laying right here, I'm going to reach for something that I don't need. Okay, so next, check this one out. Hold on. I am organized. I really am. <laughs> Okay. Oh, let me grab my notes for this one too. Cause this was one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this has that snowflake, that beautiful, the super large snowflake that's in the snow fall finlets. I think they're called. Where are those? Now I'm looking. Look, what did I do with those? Hmm. Okay, ladies, I'm going crazy. This is the part where like when I was trying, oh, here they are. Yep. Yep. Right here. Okay, good. Yeah. So we use this huge, we're going to pull these out right now. So we use that guy and we use, oops, and I dropped it. Hold on. It's right here. Okay. So we used both of these framelits. Oh, seriously, this sun. Mm, okay, we're gonna have to go with it because I've got a lamp here because it wasn't <laughs> and I'm afraid if I start pulling my table then I'm gonna the lamp is gonna fall off the table. So okay, it'll probably peek behind the cloud in a sec. But okay, you can you well it kind of adds some like sparkle and shimmer, doesn't it? Okay, so this is the white velvet paper that we used, and this is actually the, it it worked really, really nicely um, with that velvet paper, the framelit did. Even though there's so much detail, it really wasn't too difficult to get everything punched out of it. So, haha, <laughs> Peggy, you're in love with this card too. Yes, this is gorgeous. So this card was one that I mentioned when I was going through the Artisan Design Team blog hop. There is a gal named Kathy Keynes. So C-A-T-H-Y and then C-A-I-N-E-S. So I'm sure you could Google her name or... Her blog is called In the Cat Cave, so C-A-T, in the cat cave .com. 
I'm sure cat is short for Kathy, right? That makes sense. So super cute. She does beautiful work also. I hadn't really seen her work before. Um, so now I've got my note, you know, I gotta check out the Artisan Design Team blog hops more regularly with all this fun new product that comes out. So, okay, this one uses, I don't know, can you see? Um, it's kind of that, those little bohec dots almost. So, cause I wasn't even sure, where was that paper? from right but it's actually part of this all is bright designer series paper so the beautiful kind of ornaments and there's lots of kind of bright fun color in here but one of them so that's kind of some poinsettia and you see this is I wanted you guys to see so you kind of saw all of the different patterns that are in here but there's one sheet this is it right here gosh that glare is crazy isn't it Am I gonna move my table? No, oh, I don't know. I feel like maybe I need to, but okay, well, let me let me move it over here a little bit more. Maybe that's a little bit better if I'm not right in the light. So do you see kind of the, it's almost like the um, sunlight dots are coming through on the paper. And then this is the back side with just a little bit more print and pattern. But I wanted you guys to know which pack of paper that came from, right? So then these are all the other patterns. So beautiful, lots of, like I said, bright, bold patterns. And then there's this one that's really soft and subtle, and that's what we used. So again, it's from the All is Bright Designer Series paper pack, okay? Alrighty, we're okay here. Um, I'm just telling myself that, right? <laughs> okay, so here, let me grab all my pieces for this one. To decide if I needed that soft suede ink, but I don't, maybe I don't need it anymore. Okay. All right. So we've got another. So I loved all the kind of natural looking cards that were made um, with this stamp set and framelit. So that's what we're doing. So we've got another, this is another um, crumb cake card base, right? That measures our eight and a half by 11. This time we cut it in half at the 11 inch side at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it oops at four and a quarter inches for our fold on our card right okay then and i loved the layering that she did too where things just peeked out a teeny tiny bit everything is all askew here so this is a piece of whisper white cardstock if you can see good lord i am like futzing with everything here excuse me um, can you see there's just a little bit of whisper white peeking out behind that designer series paper there? So this whisper white piece measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just graduated in an eighth of an inch from the actual card base itself. And then we have the um, designer series paper, the all is bright that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? We are gonna do our stamping on here with our black stays on ink. And we've got our card that says, Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to the world. Okay, so our tap, tap, tap. I don't think I can, all right, I gotta move the table. Hold on one sec, I gotta take the lamp. <laughs> Hold on. Did I have to do this last week too? I can't remember. <laughs> I planned for it being not so there. I think, is that a little bit better? There, now oh, I don't think we have the glare, right? Okay, so there, now I can concentrate. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. It was too much glare for me. Okay, so we're doing our nice easy tap, tap, tap. Actually, you know what, I wanna grab where did it go? Here, I want my stamp. I'm too worried that I'm not gonna get a good stamp on here. So we're gonna do that right there. I'm gonna press down to get all my ink off. Okay, Shoo! good, it worked. Okay, so we've got that one. Okay, now what do I need? Get back out of there. Oh, I do need my soft spray ink, okay. All of these are just extra kind of pieces here. This is just a piece of soft suede cardstock. Well, I have to show you, this is the stamp though from, can you see this? The, this is the Happiness Surround stamp set. So this is the other stamp set that is a part of um, the Snowflake Showcase, that whole suite of products. You cannot find it in the holiday catalog. It's all um, online basically. So if you go to stampinup.com, it's featured on the front homepage there. 
And then I've got links this whole week. I've had links to, um, you know, the and with the item codes and the names and the prices of everything. So if you have any questions on any of these products, let me know how you find them, what the price is, what the name is. I've been trying to be really good about including that information in all my posts this week on the product of the week. Um, but if you have any questions or if you need help getting an order in, let me know. Um, okay, but this is the stamp that we're going to use right here from the Happiness Surrounds stamp set on this little piece. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to do the soft suede ink on soft suede cardstock right there. So you can just barely see it. You see how it's stamped kind of right around there? This one I did modify a little bit. I think she actually... Um, may have embossed with gold embossing paper or gold embossing powder on the vellum cardstock. It looked like to me, um, I couldn't quite figure it out until after I did it. I thought she layered a piece of vellum and then I realized, no, I think she used gold embossing powder on the vellum cardstock. It was very, very pretty. So this one's a little bit different, but you, it's the same kind of idea. Okay, did I already pull? I did, I pulled those framelits out already because I was showing you them. Okay, so this is the one framelit that kind of creates all of the little scallop edges around. It could either be a flower or it could be a star or a snowflake, depending on what you need it to be, right? Okay, so I'm just trying to get that lined up. And then this is a piece of that, oh, no, nope, wrong side. I'm like, that doesn't feel right because this is the velvet side right here. Oh my gosh, the white velvet paper i was i was trying to figure out if you guys could hear when i was rubbing my fingers on it but i really think you can you can hear it <laughs> it's a fun fuzzy like i said last week it's like the flocking on the santa's workshop designer series paper and i'm going to cut through that now sorry if it wiggles a little bit i'm going to go back and forth a time or two because i want to try to get as much of the detail cut on my snowflake as I can, okay? Alrighty, and that's popping right out. And what happens is they put adhesive, or adhesive gets kind of stuck on there from like the framelit packaging, and it always sticks to my um, cutting mat too. So, okay, so there's the one right there, right? Okay, hold on, there we go. I had a text come through, I'm like, oh, I gotta swipe that out of the way. Okay, so there's the one piece trying to keep everything organized here. And then, can you see, so that, and I think this is beautiful too. I probably should be more careful with my placement, but I think you could have some fun with that kind of negative image, what's cut out there also. Okay, we're gonna move our big shot out of the way because I wanna use my um, big shot die brush, I think is kind of helpful. Let's see, and I did, I kind of ran this over and it really helped to get most all of these things out of here. Let's see, yay, it did get most of them. So you might have a couple. Ooh, do I even have any? Let's flip that over. Oh, I see one. It's funny how sometimes on the back side, I guess because they're kind of coming out, it's almost like you can see them. I have my paper piercing tool, but I don't think we even need it. Look at that. Okay, so can you guys see I love... Oh my gosh, and then it's still, maybe you can't really hear, it's still fuzzy, but oh, it's just beautiful. And it's a little bit more, you know, like thick and substantial too to work with. So, <laughs> window, yes, there you go. Oh, that would be really cute. What a good idea. Thank you, Marianne. I love that. Okay, so do we have all of our pieces? I think we do. So let's start putting things together. And if we don't have them all, then I'll figure that out, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put some adhesive on the back of our All Is Bright, kind of that patterned dotty designer series paper, real subtle. I'm just loving. <laughs> Rosa, you're loving it too. I know, it's gorgeous. I, it's just the, all the detail of the snowflakes. I'm so glad they came out with these too. Um, so many. I think we figured out last week. Um, <laughs> it did come out very, very easily. <laughs> That's sweet. That Marianne's saying she thinks the Stampin' Up! dies just get better and better. And I think you're right. I think, you know, well, they listen a lot to um, demonstrator feedback and customer feedback. So if ever you have a comment 
or a concern, you can always send it to me. We have something called the Product Sandbox that we can um, put you know, comments in, and they really do look at all of our comments and take them to heart and you know whatever they can do to help they they really do it's not just a, like they don't just say it and not mean it they they do they really mean it <laughs> so it's just a great company to be a part of too so if you ever have any feedback send it to me and i can get it on to stampin up through that product sandbox okay so i'm just putting a dimensional on the back of this guy and we're going to layer so that would layer right over there perfectly but i kind of liked having that peek out behind it so we're going to turn this on its side a little bit there so you get those little points sticking out behind there and then we need where did they go right here in front of my face okay we're gonna put one more so this time we're gonna use um, the female more detailed um, snowflake trinket and we're gonna grab our glue dots we're gonna pop that right down on there and so this works perfectly when I'm not doing Facebook live but now it's gonna be really, there we go. You should just be able to put that right down on there and pick it right up. But because it's live, it doesn't wanna cooperate with me. So there we go. And then I did kind of fold those up and in a little bit, just cause I like all of that dimension on there. So yay, what do you guys think about that one? Isn't that beautiful? So again, that was from Kathy Kane's in the cat cave.com if you wanna um, see more of her work too. Beautiful, beautiful work that all of these artisans do. Um, yeah, they're just, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I can't say enough about, about that. Okay, so I have one more to show you guys too. So this one features a little bit more of the Happiness Surround stamp set. I thought that was kind of fun to be able to show you guys. So all there were five products that came out in that suite. The, um, the Snow is Glistening stamp set, so we've used that a couple of times on the cards. Then we had the Snowfall Thinlets, and do you guys remember all of the different? So these are the ones we are not using, so look at all the detail on those, and there's a whole other sheet of them too. So just a ton of detail, and then they've got some leaves and flowers and snowflakes. And then we use the white velvet paper. We, of course, have used these snowflake trinkets a couple of times, and... Um, is that it? Yeah, and then this Happiness Surround stamp set. So tons and tons of great product that have come out. Again, you cannot get it in the holiday catalog. Um, go to stampinup.com. All the details are there or check out um, this Facebook page right here too for this product of the week. Okay, so the last card, like I said, uses more of this Happiness Surround stamp set. And okay, I gotta move this stuff so I can get to this last one. This is another case of a card from Jennifer Frost is her name. And so can you see, it's more, I love, they, they have kind of a similar look, right? She used, this is part of the Petal Promenade designer series paper. So there's just a little bit of kind of soft textural detail. And we stamped right on there with that awesome medallion and then did some more stamping with that kind of flower right that right there too. Um, and let me see, Jennifer, oh, so her blog is just her name. So it's jenniferfrost.blogspot.com. Um, so check her out because she's got some beautiful work too. I've seen some of her other um, projects as well. So, okay, let me show you how we are using, if you can see, we're using this medallion stamp right here. We're using that flower, which is really, really cool. I love kind of the detail in there. And then we've got the cute little hello friend sentiment right there that we're using, okay? So let's get started making this card. We get this stuff. Okay, organization, right? Okay, and, and I did change it up a tiny bit. Um, you'll see that if you go check out her blog. I try not to do things exactly the same way, sometimes because I don't even have <laughs> everything that they had, right? But okay, um, okay, so Marianne, one more card too, all right? So this one is, like I said, that Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. So you can see maybe that kind of rings a bell. It's the really beautiful floral with lots of roses, but this is just, it's like a really nice, you probably can't even see it very well, in this light, but just a nice kind of a background 
kind of a um, basic, no, not basic gray, but like a gray granite is the color I, I think of when I look at this, okay? So measurements for this card, I actually use, this is the Thick Whisper White cardstock. Let me scoot those out of the way, okay? So we've got our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, Thick Whisper White. Score it in half along the eight and a half inch side at the four and a quarter inches and, or cut it, right? And then score it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches for our tall folded card, right? And then I actually covered the entire, I wasn't exactly sure how she did it, but I just took a whole piece of designer series paper that covers the whole front of the card. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And we're gonna pop that right on there like that, okay? So now we are gonna use some Sahara Sand ink, okay? And I'm gonna grab this guy again too because I wanna make sure that I stamp this. Actually, this would probably be one that if it didn't come out quite right, that would be okay because it's kind of meant to look a little soft and vintage and weathered. Okay, so this awesome medallion stamp, we are gonna stamp that right about there. Yep, that looks good. And let's see, I'm gonna just get a scrap piece of paper, put that underneath there, because I wanna stamp this one kind of off the edge. So maybe right about there, okay? So that's it, Sahara Sand ink with that medallion stamp. And then, where is my, <laughs> do I have, have I pulled it out? Oh, it's all right here, okay. All right, so I've got a little bit more. I just have kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock that we are gonna use. This is our Flirty Flamingo ink with that cute little flower stamp. We're gonna just stamp him right there. Oh, I love that. There's something about that. I don't, I don't quite know what it is that I love so much, but there's something. Okay, and then on just a little teeny tiny, this is like a half inch wide strip of a Whisper White cardstock. I have my um, Grapefruit Grove ink pad, and we are gonna stamp our Hello Friend, not upside down. And this we're just gonna kind of snip out. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I think we've got all of that, right? So now I just need to use the die to cut that little flower out, and then we can put things together. So this is a very sweet and simple card. Okay, don't lose my sentiment. Okay, my big shot. And then I'm gonna grab my other framelit. It's just gonna cut. So this is one, I think this is what goes on top here, yep. So you could cut out a whole bunch of detail on there, right? But I'm just gonna use the outline. So that's just got lots of fun possibilities there. Okay with my big shot i'm gonna cut this guy right here and we will be good to go okay crank in the handle this is a simple simple one just gonna pop that guy right out put him there let's get the big shot out of the way and we can put this guy together so you can see how these sometimes less is more just the simple I want to get quite a bit of adhesive around all of this here because it's gonna lay right down as if it's my card front. So we need to be a little bit careful to make sure we get it where we want it also. Okay. There we go. All right. Then we need, oh, actually, this is just a little strip of, this is the Nature's Poem Designer Series paper, that kind of fun fall paper. This is a one inch wide strip by five inches. And I just kind of put it on here and measured about where I wanted to have my rip. And then I just literally kind of ripped it like that, okay? So then we are gonna add some adhesive on this little guy here. Okay, and pop that one maybe right about there, right? Then I'm gonna grab a dimensional and put him on the back of that little flower. Such a cute flower, oh my goodness. 
we are gonna put him maybe right about there. Then we've got our little um, hello friend. And I just wanna kind of snip this off. I need to have enough to kind of put that. Yeah, that looks good, right about there. So we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of this guy. Oops, I did get it on my finger, perfect. Okay, we're gonna lay that maybe right about there. And then we need one more, I love. So you can see all the fun we're having with the snowflake trinkets, right? Where's my detailed one, okay? And my glue dots. And we're gonna hope that this guy sticks well. Maybe the metal, maybe it's a little bit slippery. There we go, okay, so I've got my glue dot. Oops, apparently I have an extra one on my finger that I didn't realize I had. So we're gonna put that down on there too. So now we're double glue dotted. So that'll help hold this right in place. And then this guy goes right on there. Yeah, okay. Now, last time I used some of, these were the um, Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, kind of around the edges there, just another little pink tone to add some pretty fun. This time I want to use um, some rhinestones. You guys tell me which ones you like better. I'm just gonna grab our Take Your Pick tool and just kind of pop these but maybe put one right there these things are it's almost like they've come off of themselves a little bit there we go and then one more there i wonder if the sun got to them or something <laughs> they they're not sticking very well to that so then they don't want to they don't want to scoop with my little barbie spatula well philomena how are you i don't think i realized you were on here i'm glad to have you okay there we go so there is our third card. Okay, so you guys tell me, which one do you like better with the rhinestones or with the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls? So cute, right? So, oh my gosh, thank you guys as always so very much for joining me today. Um, do a quick recap here, kind of slide things out of the way. So make sure if you are interested in getting any of the products that we used to make these cards today, that you use the host code, the ETSMG6K4. When you order online, at least $30, you're gonna get these projects that I demonstrated today. And your name goes in the drawing to win all of these. The Shaded Spruce in Real Red um, um, Stampin' Blends. It's funny, I got sidetracked. Peggy says she likes the pearls and Philomena likes both of them. All right, thank you ladies, I appreciate that. So, okay, I think, I think we're good, right? Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get you, um, you know, set up with any of these products. Like I said, they're not in the catalog, so I, that might be a little bit confusing, but I can help get you any information um, that you need as far as item codes. So thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate all your comments. Don't forget to comment and share this video, and then all week long, comment and share on the other posts on our Facebook group and our Facebook page. And I'm going to draw one random day and your name goes in the drawing to win um, the snowflake trinkets that we used on these cards as well. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend. And like I said, we won't be here next Friday for Facebook Live, but then the following week we'll be back that Friday. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. You guys all have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much for all your comments. <laughs> Bye.